hello guys today in this video i will show you how you can create an auto focus input field or you can say it auto changes input field so here is the pre preview and this type of form we need when we generate a otp verification free form so if i click one number then you can see it's automatically focused on the second input field and then it's third input field you can say the, you can say it and this type of form we need in OTP verification form so in this video I will show you how you can create this type of form so let's see so first of all I will go to my Visual Studio code here you can see this is the Visual Studio code editor and I have already opened component so this is the gallery component of the HTML file and this is the gallery component TS file and inside this HTML file here I have written the some code so the, co the code is here I have take first of all taken a row and I have divided this row in, into the column 6 column so column 2 and both the column 2 I have taken the input field and the input type is text you can see here so now if I go to the browser so here this is the preview so first of all here I will show to take this two input field how to change the the two input fields autofocus so for that I will comment out remaining input fields so here I will comment out this input fields and I will keep it the two input fields so let's start code so you can see the browser so now you can see there are two input fields only and so first of all here I will take a template defense variable so guys template defense variable is similar like id so if you don't know how what is the template defense variable and how to use then you can go to my playlist and check the video of template defense variable and so first of all here i will take in a template defense variable and the variable name is i will written here text one and here i will write max length so max length is the attribute of length so if i save this and go to the browser so here you can see inside this input field i can only write one value but here i can write anything because i have written this input field max length one so in the similar way here I'll, in this input field also uh, i will write the template defense variable takes two and max length one and now here I would like a function so function name is move so first of all parenthesis and inside this parenthesis I would like key of function because this function works when I type any key from keyboard so after typing any key then it's focused in another input field so the function is key, key up function not on click anything and the function name is move you can write any name of this function and just here I will pass two parameter the first parameter this template defense variable text one because it remove the cursor from text one input field to text two input field so here i'll pass the two parameter text one and text two because this cursor will be removed from text one input field to text two input field this input field and now save and i will copy this move function so again i will go to the ts file 
and just below the in the on in it I will define the function so paste and here similar to this parameter I have passed this text one at text two as a parameter so for that here I have passed a parameter so you can write a text one and text two name of this parameter also you can change here the text form anything you can change so I will write the parameter name is form text to text this parameter name you can write in it. here I will write a variable so where uh, where length length is the variable so you can write any name of this variable and length so form text form text dot length so that means I, I refer form text means the first input field where the cursor will indicate have the before so first of all I have taken the first input fields that means this input fields length inside this length variable and now I will write another variable name max length equals to document dot get attribute so not document this form text dot get attribute because I want to get attribute of max length of form text that means when at first the cursor belongs with in which input field so first of all this cursor will belongs to first input field so first input field means form text so form text dot get attribute max length and now here I will write a if condition so if length double equals to max length so that means when the length length means when I will type any any key from key, keyboard and the, the key value is equals to max length that means if the value is similar to 1 then to text dot focus so when the value will be similar to 1 then it will focus to text to text means the second input field this input field so I have written here text 2 and the text 2 is similar to text that means it will focus on text 2 input field that means second input field so if I save and go to the browser to so check it if it's working or not so here if I type 1 so it's not working working now because of here I have written double inverted comma but here this is not I this are not ID so I have to remove this double inverted comma so now save and if I write here one value and this similar to one so you can see it's focused on the next input 
so in the similar way now i will remove the comment of this input fields and the similar way at first here I will copy this and I will paste all the input fields so here I will write text is always unique so here I will write a text for here uh, the text 5 and here I will write a text 6 and now and everywhere max length is 1 and now I will copy this function and just here paste so here it's fo focus the cursor it, it's focusing the cursor for text 1 to text 2 so here the cursor will focus text 2 because this is the text 2 and text 2 to this text 3 and the same way I will copy this and this is text 3 input field so the cursor will focus on text 3 input field to text 4 and here I will paste also so here text 3 to text 4 and here text 4 to text so here text 4 to text 5 because this is text 4 so here the cursor will be removed from text 4 input field to text 5 that means here and here text 5 to text 6 and I will not paste this keyjob function here because uh, after coming the cursor on text 6 input fields they are, are they are not no no one another input field so here i will not paste this function so i will save it here and i will go to the browser to check it out and if i click one number it's focusing both here so you can see here this this form you is used to otp generation generate form at the time when we create otp generate form so hope guys this video is helpful for you and if you want to get more videos in angular then you can subscribe and press the notification bell icon.